in the atom. They gave me coffee when I was a bit parched. So anyway, I'm going to try and do, well not try, I'm going to do do, do a demo um, using pastels, oil pastels. Uh, and I'm going to use this image of a cymbals and drum that I created on the computer. I'm going to transfer it to this dark background paper, which has got a nice little tooth to it. And the tooth means a texture at the surface, which needs you need a tooth uh, when you're using pastels for it to pick off the pigments. It takes the pigments off the, the sticks that you've got here. Uh, for this particular demo, I'm going to use Sennelier oil pastels. They're a great make. The soft pastels, top quality pigments, and they're bound uh, together with, with wax and, and other materials. You've got a great range of colours as well. There you see there. And you get some really good results. Good for blending, good for drawing. And they are rather expensive, but you pay for what you get. You can get cheaper ones, and they tend to be a bit hard, a bit more waxy. They don't blend as well and they don't go onto the surfaces as good. With these you can draw them on most surfaces going. Uh, in fact it was it was this, some some artist fella called Picasso a while back and they got in touch with this guy called St. Elliot in France and they got together and made the pastels. And this is the result. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see what see what you think of them. So let's see, to start with, I'm going to work it from, oh, let's get a bit of protection first. You need a bit of protection on your work surface, which I've got here, some, some paper that's just laid down. I've got, a, I've got some, a cloth on the floor, just in case we drop any bits, because you don't want to tread, you don't want to tread on them, because if any bits fall on the floor, you tread on them, you paddle them everywhere. Um, I've got a, a little container there, and that's to put all the little bits, the end bits, the broken off bits, the paper in whilst I'm working. I've got my blending sticks, these here, these are compressed paper, points on each end and you can just use them to rub and blend. You can use your fingers to rub and blend, you can use your cloth to rub and blend. You might want to wear gloves to protect your fingers if you don't like to get them You don't like to get your fingers dirty. Some artists like to get their fingers dirty on account of it makes them become part of the picture itself. So I'm going to become dirty I think. A bit of dirt. Okay I'm going to start off working from darks to light. Uh, it'll rage, it'll vary, uh, I'll probably change my mind halfway through. There's no set rules with this. You can you can do it like oil paintings, you can do it like glazing effects. You don't really get glazing effects with these. They are, they, they, whenever you put them on, they do cover the surface. Don't press too hard when you're doing it because if you press too hard, you'll fill the tooth in with too much pigment, which means you can't overlay with some more colours. And you need the overlay of colours to do the blending. Are they still? Oh, yes, they are. Right, so I'm going to, I've drawn it out very basically using a creamy coloured pastel. One of the things you can do, if you find you've got too much um, on and it's c covering the tooth of the paper, you can get a stand, um, it's not a standing knife, uh, a flat, this is a palette knife but you can get anything flat, uh, yeah, I suppose you can use a standing knife as well, um, anything that can scrape off and you can just scrape a bit off, so um, I feel that there's a little bit too much on in a couple of areas which I need to, so this particular area here because I want to put some strong white in. So what I'll do is I'll just scrape it down where I want the white to go and I should be able to drop the white in really easily. Because I've got nearer the tooth again of the, of the paper.
Okay, so now we fast forward to the last part. I've done a bit extra, a few extra things in here, and we're going to carry on doing some more to finish off my pastel picture of the drums. I'm banging on more white, get it more solid, more sparkle. more background. The finished picture, cymbals and drums. Play them drums, boy. <laughs> 